Not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. I will remain here, at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> and Dust has a beak for more than corpses, horseman. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow Dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, cruel father. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. I don't recognize this place. Where have you taken me? This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost, far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their scheme. Or so they hoped. The well has power over all life. It does. Though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos. And from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them.
over here. Fresh merchandise. more pages, and Valgrim, more keys. Abaddon's eye. It is. To me, quickly. Welcome to Lost Light Rider. From one warrior to another. Do I know you? I am Nathaniel. I fought beside you at the gates of Eden. Would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You're of the Hellguard. I was. But I guard the Light now. And the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? How did you come to leave the Hellguard? Abaddon sent me here to watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What 
is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light, for what we left behind in the White City. Here, we are closer to darkness. And who is this Archon? Lucian is the head of the Scriptorium. Those angels record all that he sees when he peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records, an archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this Citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. The Archon's that way, Horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the Kingdom of the Dead, you would serve the Light to deliver this scroll. What business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend. A lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court. They may answer my question.
Out of the shadows and into the light. I see you, horsemen. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure, a beacon against the darkness, helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Arkham. Huh. Perhaps not. After the seals were broken and Hell's legions loosed upon the earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the Rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you are no angel. Acquire the rot, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. is about.
I should kill you for what your brother did here. But you saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arafel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestus to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestus fell, and the Rod was shattered. Now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the Abyss, and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The Suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world, and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Helgard to recapture the Rod of Arafel, but should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, then follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. The fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. What are these chosen? They don't look like demons. No, they have something far more ancient drawn from the heart of the Abyss. The most powerful serve the Destroyer, and rule in his name over ash and bone. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even the dead march against you. You speak of the Swarm, of all the creatures that roam the wastes. They most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. Why are the Hell Gods still on Earth? You lost your ill, in case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hell God marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. How many angels died here, Yuri? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. This suffering empowers the Destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However, all I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. <laughs>